Welcome to GH Pujar Info YouTube channel. Subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. This is a uh, video information regarding photodiode characteristics experiment. So the aim of the experiment is to draw the IV characteristics of the given photodiode and hence determine power responsivity of the photodiode. The apparatus required for this experiment are photodiode experimental setup. So this is the photodiode experimental setup. Mm, uh, so which consists of one regulated power supply, one uh, DC voltmeter, one DC micro ammeter. And uh, we need patch cards for the connection and we need one LED. So this is the LED setup. Here we have LED as well as photodiode setup. So where LED is connected to different uh, power socket we can apply the different power sockets etc so the formula to calculate the power responsivity so this is the formula that is r lambda is equal to r lambda is equal to ipd divided by p led where ipd is the photo current and p led is the power of led and but actual power responsivity is calculated using the formula that is r lambda divided by 0.66 so where R lambda is the power responsivity divided by 0.66 gives the actual power responsivity. Next come to the experimental, experimental setup. So this is the circuit diagram we are using to study the photodiode characteristics where we have power supply, one, resist, one resistor and this is the voltmeter and this is the ammeter. So this is the photodiode. On this photodiode using the LED we are using the light energy that is photons incident on the photodiode with the help of LED and this LED is connected to the power supply. And the same circuit is designed here in the experimental setup. So this is the power supply and this is the voltmeter, this is the ammeter, this is the photodiode. Next come to the connection. So as shown in this diagram, so start the connection with the power supply. So here. So here power supply, we don't have any continuation for that. The first point is connect this power supply to the circuit. This is the first point. Second, connect voltmeter. Connect positive of voltmeter to the positive terminal and negative voltmeter to the negative of voltmeter and third point connect positive of a meter to the positive and negative of a meter to the negative terminal fourth point so here we have photodiode setup but actually photodiode is here so this is the photodiode where this photodiode is connected with the two terminals one positive and negative so therefore consider this photodiode that is connect photodiode into the circuit so this is and close this one to avoid the natural light effect so I'm just closing this one I repeat the connection the first point is connect power supply to the circuit second point connect negative of port meter to negative and positive to positive third point connect positive of port meter to the ammeter to positive and negative um, terminal to the negative of the ammeter and the fourth point connect photodiode to the circuit where the remaining remaining so this LED is connected this LED is connected with the power supply IV characteristics of photodiode so where we need to apply the reverse potential in the steps as shown here 0, 0 0.1 likewise to study the IV characteristics for after connection make sure all the knobs at the minimum position then switch on the circuit now to study the IV characteristics of photodiode so first we have to adjust power up LED 
say for example 10 milliwatt so this can be done with the help of this knob here we have different power of leds so make sure that the knob of this one has to set for the 10 milliwatt so here i have set this power of led to the 10 milliwatt then for corresponding this power of led now we can study the photodiode current as a function of reverse potential voltage as follows now for the zero voltage now for note down the value of uh, ipd current for the vpd when vpd is zero so this is the zero vpd and note down the value of ipd so i am just now done. next by this knob by varying this knob we can increase the reverse potential and set it for for example 0.1 approximately 0.1 so note on the corresponding current and write here and similarly 0.2 note on the photo current so likewise apply vpd and note on the corresponding ipd values for 0.4 0.5 1 volt and 2 volt next increase the power of led say for example 30 milliwatts here increase the power of led for 30 milliwatts now i have set it for 30 milliamps now keep this one as constant again repeat the same procedure by applying the vpd of different vpds and note on the corresponding ipd values and the last one again repeat the same procedure by now setting the power up led as 50 milliwatt 50 milliwatt and repeat the same procedure so this is how after getting all these readings plot the graph of vpd versus ipd by taking negative x axis that is reverse potential vpd and negative y axis that is reverse current that is ipd value so where for the 10 milliwatt as the voltage increases the current is gradually increases initially then at higher voltage it almost remains constant so that at particular voltage where the current almost reaches constant so that corresponding current is called as the reverse saturation current and plot the same nature uh, uh, graph for the remaining two different powers of led that is for 30 milliwatt and that is 50 milliwatt so this is about the iv characteristics of photodiode as a function of vpd versus ipd next to determine the power responsivity so here first we have to set vpd that is voltage reverse potential for the photodiode as constant say for example 2 volts so here by bringing this one minimum the power up led has to set now for the minimum next apply the reverse potential say for example 2 volts Two volt once if it is set and you it should be constant and you don't have to you don't uh, we don't have to vary this one it should be constant now now to determine the power uh, power responsivity now we can note down the value of ipd as a function of different power of leds now we can note down for example so here for 10 milliwatt what is the current note on this one say for example for 10 milliwatt it is showing 337 next increase the power of led say for example it is 11 for 11 note on the current that is 357 likewise increase the power of led and note down the corresponding ipd values for different powers of leds once if you take all the readings then plot the graph of 
IPD versus VPD by taking IPD values along the y axis and power up LED along the x axis where we can confirm that as the power up LED increases the IPD that is current uh, current through the photodiode also gradually increases from this plot we can find the slope that is ABC the slope can be calculated by taking the value of AB was divided by BC so this slope is nothing but the AB value gives IPD value and PC value gives power of LED. So this ratio of IPD to the power of LED is nothing but responsivity. What we have in the formula? This is the formula IPD divided by power of LED. So therefore directly the slope is nothing but power responsivity of the photodiode. Next calculate the actual power responsivity so from the graph we can find the power responsivity that is by considering ab and bc values so that slope is nothing but power responsivity next once if we find the r lambda value so we can easily calculate actual power responsivity using the formula r lambda divided by 0.66 and note on the results here